Hello everybody! Today I wanted to show you my take on the treehouse build that's been kind of going around in the Paleo community. For this build, you need wood pillars, wood walls, small stone crates, small wood crates, and wood floors. I wanted to use an oak tree for this build, but you could definitely use a juniper, a birch, maybe even a pine tree. I just ended up doing an all wood build and I thought that the oak tree looked the best with the wood blocks. Now that we have the tree, we're gonna start off with four pillars kind of surrounding the tree. Now, it's okay if the square that you're making around the tree isn't perfect. You're gonna see next is in placing the wood floors that the two pillars closest to the house do need to be moved over slightly so it aligns perfectly with the center of the floorboard. But the goal with this shape is to make a four by four square surrounding the tree. As I was working on this build, I kept thinking about how nice it would be if we could apply wallpaper and flooring to these build blocks. Hopefully we get that at some point, but I think that would be such a fun addition to these wood blocks because I've definitely enjoyed having a bit more freedom when it comes to building. So hopefully we get that in the future. But this is when I realized that the tree couldn't really fit in the center because we weren't able to build around it. So I placed the tree in the corner, which ended up working so much better because now the tree is kind of living in its own perfect square. So it's so much easier to build around it and it won't get in the way. With this build, I didn't end up going into it with an idea or a set plan of what I wanted to do. In a sense, you're kind of like free building with me. I didn't want a regular square floor plan. So I end up kind of doing two squares that are merging. Hopefully that makes sense. So please stay with me, but it's a five by five square merging with a four by four square. I do have a bird's eye view coming up after we add a few more walls to the build, but just imagine a four by four square colliding into a five by five square. Once you're done with those two squares, just add three pillars to the main corners of that last square. I swear I recorded that, but for some reason I only have one video of me placing a single pillar. But congrats, we are officially done with the floor plan of our tree house. And now we are onto walls. One thing about me is when it comes to walls, I love windows. I knew I wanted a large window towards the back of the build, but here I am kind of deciding where I want full walls and windows when it came to actually building the windows, I thought that the small wooden crate was perfect for it just because it created a surface where you could place things. I do love quite a bit of clutter when it comes to decorating. I wanted a place where I could put candles, books, trinkets. So I thought that the small wooden crate was perfect for a window. So we're gonna add one small one in this corner and then towards the front of the build, we're going to add another window to lead to the patio area. And then you might have to move the tree a little bit to add some more walls but this ends up looking really cool because parts of the tree are poking through the wall so it truly feels like a tree house and here is the bird's eye view i mentioned earlier this is the five by five square merging with the four by four square to make our layout now that we finished the layout and decided where we want to put our windows we need to finish the walls so for the full walls we're going to put another wood wall on top of that and before we can finish the windows we do need to place the roof because it's going to make finishing the windows so much easier for the roof, you're gonna use wood floors again and you're basically gonna cover this ish up. You just wanted to copy the layout of the actual floor minus the patio area. And I'm gonna speed up this part just a little bit so we can get through to the next part. And here's a reminder to fill up those empty spaces where you do have a full wall with a wood wall again. And to finish the windows, we're gonna use more small wood crates. So basically adding the roof before finishing the windows creates a base for us to put the crates on top. I tried making it without it, but it just wouldn't place unfortunately. So that's why placing the roof is very important when finishing the windows. Not only does the small crates create a surface where we can place decor on top, but I also really enjoy the dimension that it brings to the build. It brings the treehouse to life because it's a little bit more quirky. There's more surfaces. It's not just a flat, perfect shape. Can we just take a moment to appreciate these branches sticking out of the building blocks? I think it's so cool. You could definitely add more surrounding the treehouse to add a few more branches. And here I am deciding how far I want this overhang to come out. I didn't want it covering the entire patio, but just a little portion of it. That way we could have a little bit of sun on our patio and then also have a place for shade. Now that we're done with this area, here is what the build looks like from the front. And then we're gonna go head on to the back so I can show the back of the building. 
And then we also have a bird's eye view of what the build looks like with the roof on. This is the part that I struggled with the most because I could not decide what I wanted to do for the stairs. So I just end up using six small stone crates in order to make a staircase. Honestly, there are so many tutorials out there on YouTube already. So you can just choose which staircase kind of fits the vibe of your treehouse. Guys, we did it. We finished the floors, the walls, the roof, the stairs, the windows, and now we can get to my favorite part, which is decorating. I had two things in mind when I was decorating. I wanted it to be fairy-like and also cozy. Like just imagine having a little helpful fairy in your plot and this is where they would live. I didn't have a specific furniture line that I was sticking for this entire build, but I do have quite a bit of Moonstruck, Dragon Tide, and Ravenwood items. Honestly, this build has shown me how much I actually love Ravenwood. I used to be a huge Bellflower fan. However, guys, Ravenwood it looks really good, especially all of the recolors. I'm obsessed with that furniture line. I also went with two color palettes that I thought work really well together, and it's Berry and Calathea. It was my first time decorating with both of those color palettes, and they just look so beautiful together. It's all the pinks, the purples with the mint green. It just makes it feel super fairy-like to me, and it adds a little visual interest because all the items aren't the same colorway. One of my favorite items to decorate is actually the winter lights candlestick. I love candles. Honestly, I love all the paleo candles, but this one's definitely my favorite. The books are another favorite item of mine. I think it just adds so much character to the spaces that you're decorating. I don't even want to think about all the books that I bought for this build. I was definitely at the Barnes and Noble and Paleo way too much, but I think it ended up turning out really beautiful. Oh, and plants. I love plants, specifically the Bellflower Reed Planter. I use that all the time and I'm always changing the color just to make it a little bit different. Something that I was not expecting from this build is my new love for Paltech items. I've never really reached for them before because they are quite industrial. In my opinion, I find that they add a thrifty antique vibe and I really love that addition in this space. Guys, I'm so excited to say that we are finished with the build. We are done decorating and this is what this space looks like. I truly had so much fun making this with you and I just want to thank you for tagging along. I know there's quite a few treehouse builds that have been going around on YouTube, but I really wanted to try my own take on it. I love how cozy it is. It's very fairy-like. If I were a fairy, I would love to live here. If you liked this video, it would mean so much to me if you pressed the like button and subscribed. If you have any other build requests or other video ideas you would like me to do, please comment down below. If you like a more live setting, I do stream over on Twitch. It's just at MeepaPuff on Twitch. We play a lot of paleo over there and I'm going to be branching in other cozy games soon. I have all my socials down below and if you try to recreate this build, please tag me or I would love to see a photo on the Discord. Guys, thank you so much for spending time with me today and I hope to see you soon. Bye everybody!